hi welcome to automation testing dot in in this video we are going to discuss about selenium no such frame exception selenium no such frame exception will discuss about one of the frequent exceptions which we will face in selenium web driver you might face this kind of exception while automating the application if you have iframes in your application uh, the um, basic reason why we will use uh, iframes in the application is if you want to show the information from other sources then we will use frames in the application means you have something in somewhere in the uh, net you want to show that information into your application so we will use iframes as a container there you can show the other sources information into your application so we will face this kind of uh, exception in different kind of scenarios we will discuss all the reasons and we will see how we can overcome this issue okay below are the causes to face this exception let's assume in your application if you have a frame and it contains some elements means if you ha you have a frame in that frame you have a uh, text box let's assume and you want to enter something into that text box okay for this we have captured the locator of the text box means uh, suppose you assume that you have a id for the text box and you captured that id and you have written the logic to enter something into the text box but after execution of the script will find no such frame exception and you know uh, and will not come to know that why we get the no such frame exception and best part here is selenium will tell us with the proper exception instead of it says that no such element exception then it will be very difficult as to resolve this kind of scenarios means uh, you have a frame and you have a text box in that and you try to interact with that but you have an exception that no such frame exception instead of that if you find no such element exception then it will be difficult to find that now what happened exactly okay uh, if you find no such frame exception you you can you will come to know that oh, there is a say frame and our element is in that frame then how you will overcome this kind of scenario uh, first you have to switch to that frame you have a scenario uh, kind of mechanism selenium that you can switch to that frame you have provision you have methods to do the uh, this kind of scenarios means you have to forcefully switch to that frame and then you can interact with that element okay uh, let's assume you have a web page in that web page you have a frame let's assume is a frame in that you have a text box okay you want to enter something into the text box it has id let's assume text box id called text box then if you use this tb as a driver dot find element by dot id something like that even then also you will find exception the reason is it is there inside the frame so you have to forcefully switch to this frame then you have to switch to this frame first then you can interact with this element otherwise you will face this kind of exception okay now we will see one more scenario that let's assume you have more than one frame in your web page let's assume you have a frame a and frame b and uh, first you switch it to frame b to check or verify something into the frame and then if you want to check something into the frame a now so then also you will get so no such frame exception that the reason is it is inside a frame so you have to come out of that frame and then you have to switch to another frame okay i'll show you that let's assume like uh, you have a web page like this and you have two frames in this okay you have two frames in this this is frame a and frame b let's assume you have a text box here you have a text box here so you want to interact with this uh, text box so you switch it to this um, frame and you did something in this text box means you enter something into the text box now the next line is you want to enter something into this text box so you directly write something driver dot find element some something like that and send keys then you cannot enter something into the text box and you'll face no such frame exception the reason is this is inside the frame the 
cursor as the the focus is inside the frame so you have to come out of this frame first then you have to switch to this frame again okay you have to come out of this frame and you have to switch to this frame and then you can interact something into this frame and if you want to come out of the uh, normal execution then you have to come out of this frame outside you have provision or methods for that also in selenium we will discuss uh, in a separate video while we see the uh, practical example and execution okay so you have to switch to this frame do something come out of this frame and switch to this frame do something and come out of this frame this is one kind of scenario otherwise if you directly want to interact with this element when you are into this frame you will find this kind of exception okay now we'll see one more kind of scenario that you have a frame uh, sorry web page and you have a frame and you have one more frame in this this is frame a and this is frame b so if you want to go to this frame uh, sometimes you have to switch to this and then switch to this okay uh, usually if you have some ids some exact web elements uh, locators then you can directly go into this otherwise if you use indexes also you come to this frame and then go to this frame okay you do something and if you want to interact something in this web page you have to come out of this frames okay uh, you can directly come out of this frame otherwise you can come to here and come to here you have both ways okay you have both ways to come out of this frame so if you want to interact here go here and go here do something come here if you want to uh, do something here you do something here and come out to the your default web page means uh, you have to understand how the frames are um, fitted into your web page how they put into your web page okay you just un understand the com concept if you want to do something onto the frame you have to switch to that frame once you complete you have to come out of that frame you have to remember these two points then you can uh, handle any kind of scenarios if you are complex iframes on also into your web page okay and uh, uh, this way you can handle the frames in your application and will uh, handle the no such frame exception okay uh, that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like us at our facebook page and don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel